like a shit situation. Like again, man, he's turning fucking a turd sandwich into gold somehow. You know, where like the first two seasons are absolute dog shit, like unequivocal vomit. And then the the third season, somehow, miraculously, as if by an act of God and some sort of mercy, gives us a pretty decent season of Star Trek again. With with well written characters, even new characters that uh you you get invested within pretty damn early because the writing's so good. And aren't like completely retarded and it's not like, hey, do next thing. I'm just here to, you know, further the plot and not really add anything to it. It's like, no, I actually care about this guy. He's actually funny and he's actually, you know what? Uh, he actually makes a lot of sense. I'm talking about Shaw, of course. Yeah, Shaw is like one of the best characters. Shaw is the man, dude. And it's like, it's a, it, how hard is that to be like one of the favorite characters so far in a show with like 30 years of like lore? <laughs> right. <laughs> God damn it. They don't make him like an like an idiot. Like he's right, like almost a hundred percent of the time. BC goes, "What changed? How they de suck the show?" Well, they kind of just ignore the first two seasons. <laughs> they really do. They, they talk. Really they talk do. about the robot thing a little bit. They they mock it. It's like it's he had to work. The you know uh, Tatalis, the um the guy that took over this last season. Like he, he he did his best, man. He got handed a pile of dog shit, and he somehow like. You know, Rumple Stilston Rumple oh, I tried to turn that into a verb and that didn't happen. Rumple Stilskinned it and turned it into goal somehow. I, you know, I'm counting that as a win. You, you could have gone the, the alchemy route. Her. You know, you, you could have gone the alchemy route with that one. Yeah, but then I had to say Ukamin baby. I'm not gonna say that. It's too hard. Ukamimba? Yeah. <laughs> but somehow like you got Riker and Picard back together immediately in the first episode. And then by this episode, episode three you got their old roles flipped where Riker is forced to take command of the Titan and mm -hmm. Picard starts acting as his number one. And he, he even has that little line that says, he says, William, I think you should stop calling me number one. And yeah. like, you're like, awesome. ah, like, you're like, 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 you oh, motherfucker, shit, yeah. you got me. <laughs> and you don't have a bunch of people running around crying, like describing their feelings. They're letting the actors act and they're just running their lines, not telling everybody how they feel and why they feel it. And they're not like, um, you know, going to the doctor. You're so amazing and smart. I'm just a man. Was, no, they're having real dialogue that humans would have. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, Riker and uh, Picard together again in this show is pretty great. Like pretty damn great. Yeah. And the dude, the bad guy, like the like the it's a a ship with a portal gun. Like, it's pretty cool. Like, it's it's not that, you know, like, original yeah. idea, but it's used really well. And it well, becomes well, pretty fucking menacing and annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, what you can... When they don't know how to fight this damn thing, it's like, and the, what they're able to do with it. And the other reveal who the... uh Probably the actual mastermind and the real bad guy in this is in this one. And it's like, oh, shit. You know, it's about time they actually did a... uh well, since Deep Space Nine actually did something with that those uh, that group of people, I don't know. You can't really call them people, but I was like, like how evil they were in Deep Space Nine, and how they just sort of like, oh, okay, we're all changed now. I was like, the change. Come on, man. <laughs> See what I did there? Mm -hmm. See what I did? I was being subtle. I don't know if you wanted to give away spoilers or not. But yeah, the nice. Fuck it. Let's do it big. It's only three episodes in. I'm not really spoiling a whole lot. Oh, and in, knowing this isn't going to hurt anything. Like, yeah, the the big you, you realize or the uh, big reveal is they're fighting the changelings, the fucking shapeshifters. Yeah. And so they're, are that they, adds are they such a fucking thing to it. Are that, they trying like, to you, restart the Dominion War? What the fuck is going on? Well, in, they say in the show, it, uh, it's a rogue group that didn't go with the whole peace thing and. I'm not going to go in the whole fucking Deep Space Nine lore where they had the, you know, that virus that they implanted and then Odo saved them, or Otto, I never know how to say his name. Uh, the Founders, yep. Nice, BZ. That's why we, we keep you around here, BZ. Deep yeah, Space I like that word. Up until that last season was kind of fucking weird. Um, but, but no, that adds such a different fucking thing because you never know who's the enemy at that point. 
Yeah. And like they're like all these people are like hundreds. I don't. I think they are hundred. I don't know if they go to thousand years old, but they're old as shit. So they have all the time in the world to plot. You know, it's fucking insane. And somehow Picard and Riker and Crusher have found themselves dead in the middle of this goddamn <laughs> terrorist changeling organization. <laughs> oh, and they they revealed it in the the last episode, but that you know Crusher's kid is Picard's son. And they have a back and forth. It's actually pretty damn good. They actually, I was like, man, what could possibly be her reason for not telling her? And they did a, you know, they did a, that scene was pretty good. And yeah, it was pretty did well kind of the best they could, like where to explain why. I think for the situation to try to make it work, I, I didn't hate that scene and the explanation. But also why. like her, like her reasoning for why she kept her, their son away from him. Like it was flimsy in the scene, like in like, they bo- both knew as characters that her excuse was a flimsy excuse. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Kev. Yeah, what up, Kev? And, like, the, you could see the, the conflict between them while he's, like, basically pushing back on that flimsy excuse and shit. It was a really, pretty well done scene, like. Pretty well done with, like, a shit situation. Like, again, man, he's turning fucking a turd sandwich into gold somehow, like. Um... And the back and forth between them is really good. Like his reaction when he like he she like throws his family history into it and what he said in the past. Mm-hmm. Like, how dare you, you fucking bitch! Dude, could you imagine if like this the seasons received so well? Because like the last season of, of Discovery isn't supposed to be until like next year, I think. Yeah, like the beginning of like twenty twenty four. Could you imagine if they like just like boot off Kurtzman and go, no, nah, Metallus is writing the final season yeah. of Discovery? You'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Every last season of these shows are amazing. <laughs> no, that whole fucking thing is I don't know, I don't, the yeah, I don't know how he would, he'd salvage it. Like all the characters are <laughs> <just> completely different. <laughs> he just completely ignores the last five seasons or whatever it was. Yeah, especially like most actual fans like checked out like season two. Yeah. Like that was it. The writing was just so fucking bad. Season one just redconned the whole fucking Kirk Spock thing. Like it, it was fucking terrible. Yeah, Kev, they, uh, Discovery got canceled, but they're, they're getting one last season because Kurtzman was uh, contracted for five. <laughs> but they're never why. gonna do that again. And going back to like Picard and this season, like this show could have been this the whole time. This is fucking um, Stewart's Patrick Stewart's fault. He went out of his way to. He didn't want the the whole cast back. That he was the he was the holdout. It could have been fine by himself if they had fucking Metallus or whatever. Yeah, uh, that's true too. Running. Like it would it would have been but, a, still I think a good way to end it is you get the whole cast back for the final season. But he never wanted that. This is the only reason why they're there is because of uh, Metallus and um, how bad the ratings for this show was. Like where. Uh, was it Kirksman? I always get the name. It's not Drug. It's Kurtzman, right? Kurtzman, yeah. Drugman's yeah. the Last of Us guy. Okay, that's I keep getting those confused, but he left, and Metallus had this fucking pile of shit that he had to like fix, and Picard was the one in the beginning, or not Picard? I'm sorry, John Patrick Stewart was like, "I'll do this show, but I don't want the whole cast coming back." Kind of a me monster, this motherfucker. And the only reason why they're there is because Metallus came in and. Uh, knows he knows what the fucking fans want. Nobody wants a Picard only show. They want to see the whole cast together and like one last fucking hurrah. And Metallus gave him that, and it's like added to spite of fucking uh, Stewart. So I, I'm I'm liking the show, but man, I'm not. I'm, I used to like Patrick Stewart. I thought he was a, like you know half decent guy. Just you know he's he's fucking Professor X for God's sake. He's an actor, Ken. They're all retarded. I know you keep saying that, but these are like actors I've known since I was a kid, man. It's hard for me to They're like completely all turn my retarded. back. Retarded. Anthony Hopkins just happens to know he's retarded. True. Anthony Hopkins, and he's still sharp as a fucking tack. That one, man. Well, he, he's even recorded as saying, "Don't listen to me. I'm an actor. Why would you listen to an actor about anything?" <laughs> yeah, very true. That's why I like him. He's like, like I don't. I don't even listen to most actors about acting. <laughs> it feels like the later end of like the. the the TNG movies, like with a much more exciting story, like it, it's, it's like kind of slightly a smaller story, but it has like all the the hallmarks of like a of one of the like the TNG movies, like post like first contact. It's it's what Star Trek could have been in the modern like the modern I don't want to say modern times, but the way modern film how they do it with those dark settings and shit like that. Mm-hmm. 
And it just sucks that we've gotten so much garbage because this is like too little, too late. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just, it's I'm going nice... to enjoy the season. I hope it's a last, you know, a, a, a good farewell, but they just, they just fucked the audience too many times. Yeah, it's a nice swan song for Star Trek. Let it die after this. <clears throat> I'm glad I at least got that, man. I'm just, this, I don't know how this situation happened where this guy got to take over and somebody that actually knows the, the lore appreciates the fans and just wanted to do something good. But I, I'm appreciating it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nikki says Star Trek isn't dying. It's just going to a farm upstate. <laughs> yeah. It, it'll be, it'll have a nice retirement up in upstate. Yeah. It's going to run with so many other Star Treks. It's going to be great. But dude, like Michael Dorn so look, looks so fucking old in this. Like, no, like all of them look old, but he, Particularly, he sounds old. Yeah. Dude, Picard, trying to listen to him, it's just like, he talk whispers. Yeah, but you know, he sense. always was really old, <laughs> you know? <laughs> He's been old for so long that we're just so Dude, used to it. <laughs> in 99, when X-Men came out, he was just in his 50s. That was almost, that was 25 years ago almost now. Oh my god, yeah. I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, and like, we've seen him, but he's been an active fucking actor for... You know, the last yeah. 23, 24 years. Michael Dorn hasn't. <laughs> so it's just like, we saw this big buff black dude 23 years ago, and now he's, we see this old guy trying to pretend to be Worf. Unc Dorf. Shocked to the system. <laughs> Unc Worf. 